Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving after the fact. I'm glad you're here. I hope you had a good Black Friday. Uh, It's Cyber Monday. I've made a prediction that the Black Friday sales were through the roof. I'm going to make a further prediction. It'll be the biggest Cyber Monday in a decade. And then I'm going to make a final. Well, it won't be my final, but it'll be my third prediction of the day on this topic. And that is that the Christmas and shopping season, the holiday season will be the most brisk we've had in a decade. Those are my predictions. Anyway, the theme of the show is TikTok. And one of my friends asked me, Kevin, how do you balance it all? And I was like, you know what? Good question. So the first thing we do here at the Black Sphere team, the Kevin Jackson radio show, is we thread things that we do. In other words, we find a topic and that's a topic I'll probably pitch to talk about on Fox or I already know they're going to talk about it. So I'll just give my take on it. I do that for other radio shows. We write about it. We create memes about it, etc. We take a, you know, it's like, you know, eating a pig from the rooter to the tutor, the way the slaves did. Nothing goes to waste. We have pig feet and we have snouts. You eat pig ear. You know what I'm saying? Pork rinds, the skin. Nothing goes to waste, including the chitlins. That's the guts of a pig. <laughs> I know it may be disgusting to you, but it isn't when you're starving to death. So that's the way we Uh, That's how we do things. That's how we can keep things moving because I couldn't otherwise. And we rely on a lot of people that want to help out. So if you do want to be a part of this, please contact us. KJRadio.com. Tell us what skill set you have. We need it. You know what I really need? I need an operations manager. I need somebody that can look at what we do, take it to the next level. I also need somebody that's really good at merchandising. If you're a great merchandiser, I would love to have you on our team because we, you know, people love our brand. We just don't know how to take it to the next level. That's I'm just being honest with you because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that know our work and we're, we struggle all the time to keep them engaged because we don't know how to get to them. Now we're changing some of that. We have some people that have been brought on to do certain things, but it wouldn't hurt us to have some folks in the background. If you have good ideas, you got good stories. You know, people send me stuff all the time. Kevin, here's a link to something I know about. And it's a, you know, people aren't aware of this story. Okay, great. Send it over. We will take a look at it. Tick tock. See, time's ticking away. We get up in the morning. If you don't think that I want to do exactly the same thing everybody else wants to do, you know, go out, spend time with family, friends, vacation, etc. You'd be crazy. Problem is. If I did that and I came back, I'd have no brand. I'd I'd have to practically be starting over it to some degree. So what I have to do is I have to infuse work with with play. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, having my my little boy up at the, uh, you know, golden, uh, the gold gloves, things like that. You know, that that's the type of thing you have to do. If you're going to take a little mini vacation, that's how you do it. There's no way to not do things. Uh, without incorporating it into into work. And as I said in the at, at the beginning of the broadcast, he, there there is no separation of politics from your life. That's just the, the nature of it. Now, you don't have to respond to it like I do. I don't have to go to the grocery store, see prices go up during the time of Obama and go, dang, when did they have a lettuce become $14? You know, because if when I see stuff like that, I got to write about it. If you see something, say something. So that's how you balance it all. Anyway, I want to get to this. How are you? How are you guys Thanksgiving? I, I'm going to ask the audience in a second. How are you guys? Now? You have good Thanksgiving. I know that uh, we talked on Thanksgiving because I wished everybody happy Thanksgiving. I physically called all of you guys. So I know you have, we're having a good time, but it ended up great. You know, good, good, good. All right. Well, I like that. Did you not discuss politics? Did you? You did. Yeah, we'll talk about it. I'm just curious. I'm curious because when people tell me, oh, you can't discuss politics, I'm like, I'll discuss whatever I want. Don't tell me what I can't do. That's like, that's a license to me. You can't do that. I certainly can. You can do whatever I want. Doesn't it, As long as it doesn't hurt you. So what you're trying to tell me is, well, discussing politics would hurt me. Well, if you're a leftist, my discussing politics is going to hurt. It's going to smart a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's going to leave a rash. You know, that's going to leave a mark, not a rash. It's kind of. 
<laughs> no, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. I meant to say that's going to leave a mark. Anyway, I talk politics, but I was around conservatives and we gloated folks like there was no tomorrow. Like Prince's party like it's 1999. We gloated like we like it was the end of the world and we know it. Yeah. Let me put it to you this way. If you did what I did, the left didn't eat turkey this Thanksgiving. They ate crow and you should have served a heap and helping of it because you have all the ammo. I hope you serve them some crow. <laughs> I hope you had a big old turkey. And then you had this little bitty bird over there and they looked at it and went, well, I see the turkey, Bill. What's that little bird? Oh, that's for you, Edna. That's crow. <laughs> you know, if surely if you had some leftists that came to your Thanksgiving turkey, I hope you took a Cornish hen and fooled somebody, you know, a couple of little ones. <laughs> yeah, they're like, well, what's that for over there, Chuck? Well, Ted, now that you bring it up, uh, honestly. It's for you. It's crow. Because they needed to eat some crow. Man, we, we, come on. We rocked it. Look, I don't need to recap all the crybaby stuff on election night. I mean, that, look, I, that's just rubbing it in right there. I'm talking about results. Donald Trump Jr. tweeted something. I used something like uh, $5.5 trillion of stock market entries, increase. Uh, I don't know what the values are in homes, but when Barack Obama came into office, the value of the of homes had dropped six trillion dollars of value had fallen out of the home market. You know, the, the what people had saved up in their homes in equity. Six trillion dollars. Now, you could say, oh, the stock market recovered. No, it didn't. He put a, a trillion dollars a year into the stock market and propped it up. Trump's not doing that. It's not I'm telling not telling you the stock market's legit per se, because it still has a lot of that fake Obama money, but it's being backfilled with product productivity. So get in that market, man. You can also get some gold. That's what I did. But all I'm getting at is we have a lot to talk about with respect to what's going on in this economy. Forget about North Korea. And we'll talk about a story that came out of there. And I'm sure you guys heard about the guy escaping. And, and we'll talk about all the other uh, foreign policy Im- implications of Donald Trump's foreign policy plan. But let me tell you, look at this domestic policy. I just explained to you, this is going to be the best shopping season. And that's the way you judge how people feel. Are they confident enough to spend money and see what that means is the economy is starting. The engine is starting to rev up because see, you want people spending money to keep the engine moving, but you don't want to force them. You don't want it on food and and clothes, you know, healthcare and all that. You want them buying expendable items, things that they're going to repurchase at some point in the future because that engine is going and they feel confident enough to say, yeah, I can drop another, you know, a couple grand this Christmas. That normally I'd save. That's what the left have. No, they didn't. They aren't planning on that. Watch the coffers of governments, city governments, local governments, you know, from sales tax and on and on and on. Watch it. This this uh, holiday season, folks, it's going to it's going to surprise you. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.